welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to work in which I've not worked in in a long time definitely not on the channel the Joanna Bath Bassford uh, IV in the Inky Butterfly I just fancied doing this page and I think I'm going to use Distress Ink on the outside as well because I've been asked um, a couple of times to show how I do it so I'm going to have to apologise for the state of my nails at the start of this uh, it took me nearly two and a half hours to get them acrylic nails off with acetone and it's completely destroyed my nails underneath so you know I'm just every day filing a bit off as we go but yeah they're not in the best uh, health at the moment so please do ignore that so I've chose to use ink tents I'm going to use ink tents today I don't know if I'm going to go over the top with normal colour pencil for a bit of shading depends how it turns out and like I said distress ink for the outside and I'll show you how I do that I will bring you out just a little bit so you can see the majority of everything and I want to go for pinks, purples and blues which is handy because everything is in the order that it's meant to be so the one that I want to start off with is the fuchsia which is this one and you know what I've te not tested with this whether these pencils I'm thinking that they're not going to do Bit. Oh, they do just about you know into the electric sharpener. I thought let's just test that. It would help Deborah if you'd plugged it in. I don't keep it plugged in all the time. Yeah, the, the wire's hanging basically over my shoulder, so I'll be, be be right back. So it should be working now. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That works fine. So I'm not. Um, I'm just going to pick whatever and see how we get on. Uh, I think I'm just going to class this video as a colouring chat and a catch up. And I would just like to thank everybody that commented on my little update video. Where I actually did a face reveal. I was so nervous to do that video and post it. Uh, the response that I've had on it and the support has been amazing. So thank you everyone for watching and commenting and leaving really, really sweet, uh, supportive comments. It's uh, given me the kick up the bum I needed, to be honest. And everybody's right, you know, I should just be doing, like for instance today, I just fancied colouring in this book instead of doing loads of requests and whatnot. I'm just doing what I fancy. So I did finish last night the Diamond Art Club Hannah Lynn, uh, the smaller one. If you've watched my first impressions video, it's the smaller one that I finished. And that took me five days, I believe, of non-stop, like working on it for an hour in the afternoon when I had a chance, and then in the evenings working on it for three hours solid each night. Uh, I'm really, really pleased with how it's... Uh, turned out so I just need to order a frame for that to go in my daughter's room so let me just fix the camera and I'll be right back so I'm thinking that the focus should be okay there now so that was the fuchsia colour and I'm basically just gonna go down the pencils and get darker and then we'll work into the purple then to the blue so we've got dusky purple next. This is already sharpened, so that's fine. Let's do these ones. So yeah, regarding that uh, last video, I'm so happy with the, all the comments. So thank you very much, everyone. I've ordered my birthday present. Uh, part of it's coming today even though it was meant to be tomorrow and then the other part is tomorrow so I've ordered the the Karen Dash what they call the aqua museum ones the watercolour pencils I have not tried them out at all even though I've gone ahead and got the the full set because I just know what I'm like but the good thing is with Amazon if I don't like them or they're not as good as my Albert Durer's, I can send them back because they are very, very expensive. So I've used, my birthday's only uh, 
at the end of the week it's saturday but family members have given me money early just so i can get the pencils ordered just to make sure they're here in time so i'm looking forward to trying them i've watched a lot of review review videos uh, and coloring channels using them and they look just as vibrant as the neo color twos but just a little bit easier to use with them being a pencil version because i do sharpen my neo color twos but i'll be honest i don't really like sharpening them to a really fine point with them being expensive crayons i just don't hunt so i think it'll be easier to get like this sort of picture i would really struggle doing this with neo color twos unless i was using you know, like popping it down on uh, my cutting board that you've seen or the Caran d'Ache white palette uh, unless I was doing that then I'd probably find it difficult and I just thought it'd be easier and I can actually sit at the sofa if I wanted to and do that because I have done that with watercolours before so I'm just going in with dark purple now I'll do this one here so I did update everybody that Isabel's Botox went very very well, she was good as gold in uh, the hospital for the morning slash afternoon. The, he, um, the last time that she had it, the nurses actually gave her the medication to sedate her and it didn't really work last time, it just sent her a bit giddy and she was laughing and then after the procedure having the uh, injections she fell asleep. But this time round they offered me to give her the medicine. It was just an oral liquid medicine. So they offered me to do it. And obviously, being a mum, I know how to get Isabel to have medicine. So I managed to get the whole like, syringe worth of medicine down her. Whereas last time, it was spilt half of it down her clothes. Um, so this time round, she looked like that she was drunk. She was sat there with her eyes rolling at the back of her head. She wasn't asleep and she didn't sleep at all. She just looked drunk. But this time round she did feel the injection as you could tell uh, by the look at her, of her face when they were going in. It wasn't very nice but it was over within within seconds. And we can already tell that it had taken effect. This is mauve. Yeah we can already tell that the the medicine is taking effect. Right, I've got all my brushes here. I don't know why I've pulled all these brushes out when I usually only use two. Bad habit of mine. So it's Monday today when I'm filming this. It is Monday the, the 16th. I've just dropped her off so I thought, you know what, I'm going to pop on and try and film for an hour or so. Maybe be able to edit it later on this afternoon and as I was walking back from nursery I saw two people putting Christmas decorations up outside now I've noticed that I don't know whether it's obviously to do with the Covid but people are putting the decorations up a lot earlier now we usually wait till the weekend after my birthday so coming up to very close to the 1st of December we usually wait and put them up then but I think People are just putting them up now. It's something to look forward to with the bit of a rubbish year that we've all had. So I'm thinking that I might put them up this Sunday. Saturday I won't be able to because my husband is out taking uh, the little one to physio and I'll be having a lie in. <laughs> well, that's my birthday. Uh, so Sunday we probably won't be doing much. I did go ahead. This was about a week and a half ago. I beat my favourite restaurant. No, it was about two weeks ago. I got to this uh, restaurant, a steak place called Muller and Carter. And it's it's beautiful. The food there is gorgeous. And it's my very, very favourite place to go to eat. So I'd booked it just for me and my husband. Uh, I'm going to have to sharpen this one one second. Uh, so yeah, I'd booked it. Sorted out um, my mother in law coming around and just sitting at ice while Isabel was in bed so we can go out and eat. And then two days later, I had the email saying that it's been cancelled because we've come into another lockdown. Right, so I need that fuchsia again actually for this one because I missed that it's the same flower. 
so yeah that's been cancelled so we're either just gonna get a normal Indian takeaway that we both love or there's another restaurant that we like going to and it's Italian um, and I get the most oh it's, it's gorgeous I never order chicken when I go to a restaurant I never order chicken because I cook a lot of chicken at home but this one that they do though it's like in a creamy white mushroom sauce white wine mushroom sauce with the best potatoes and uh, roasted vegetables like seasonal vegetables so we'll get that as a takeaway but the only problem is with that it's about almost 20 minutes drive away so when he's getting back the food is just about warm and that's not great and I don't want to reheat it when it's nice restaurant food so I think we're just going to decide on Saturday night whether whether we have Indian or we have a cooler lukewarm uh, Italian so we'll see so we're coming up to the uh, blues now I've got peacock blue and I'm going to do this one because it does look like a blue bell to be fair yes yeah, so my family have been really really generous if you know how much them pencils are, they're super expensive. I think they're £192.99. And then the pencil case that I got is like my luminous one. My luminous one. But instead of it being green here, it's pink. I like to have all different um, pencil cases. And then I know straight away which pencil case is which. So let me just check. Just checking that there's no more bluebells I don't think there is so I've put that fuchsia back in the wrong direction I don't know about you but it has to be in order it irritates the life out of me so we've got dark indigo and I'm even going to do the leaves in these colour I'm not going to do them in green and then the background maybe a light pink to purple maybe like an ombre maybe So I checked the weather as well all last night, checking the weather. Check the weather this morning. No rain forecast. Right, fine. We don't have to put the hood on the bugger. You know, I'll just put the cover on. And honestly, I'd walked out the door and it started raining. So then I had to leave Isabel at the front and go and run and get the hood. Pop the hood on. I never get these weather reports right. gonna be interesting as well when she gets that wheelchair because that's not got a hood I might have to get her like a little poncho I think so I've ordered as well it's nothing to do with my birthday I just needed uh, do you know when I'm using my heat gun and I'm about to do it off camera because where I've got everything plugged in underneath my desk it's quite difficult to get the wire to stretch so I've ordered it's like a block it's probably how tall would it be? Probably a little bit taller than, than an iPhone, just a block. And then you can plug five or six different things into it and it's got three USB. So I'm thinking that I can put it straight ahead of me just here. Have it sitting on the desk and then I can plug everything in super easily. Because the wires and everything underneath here are getting a bit uh, ridiculous. So I'm going to use this colour elsewhere as well I'm just double checking that there's not any same leaves um, actually I'm going to do this one I haven't used my ink tents in a little while either but you know I'm naughty I should I need to go through all my supplies and bring my old stuff to the front and do a switcheroo the other diamond painting that I've got the off to the ball that's a Hannah Lynn one I don't think I'm going to start that for a couple of weeks yet because that one is is a big one that one's going to be a challenge but I originally wanted the mother earth one that was out of stock when I had ordered these two diamond paintings and then they've come back in stock now so I thought so I'm going to wait anyway there's no point me having another diamond painting because I'm not going to start it until I finish the next one anyway. But I believe Kirsty's getting it. 
I hope you don't tell me I've cursed her for saying that. So I'm going to look forward to seeing what she thinks of that one as well. So this one is navy blue. And I'm going to do these ones. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous, that one. But I feel the need to have to hang these diamond paintings up with them being a little bit more expensive. Well, a lot more expensive, actually. <laughs> and the time and the effort that we put into them. I just want to frame them all. And I don't think my husband's going to appreciate handling all over the house. <laughs> so uh, I thought about getting, I think there's a coffee one. Like it literally says coffee and it's a picture of a mug with coffee in. I thought about getting that one and then I could pop it into the kitchen. I thought that looked smart. But again, it's not just my house. I'm just keep, I need to remember that Debbie, it's not my house. I've got a husband, I've got two kids here. But I think they'll look really, really cute in uh, Isabel's room. The Hannah Lynn ones, anyway. I don't know whether I was meant to leave the uh, the uh, middle bits empty, but I'm not doing. I've already started now. And this is ink. There's no way I'm getting it up now once it's down. Yeah, it's going to be a strange one this year. My birthday, not really to be able to do much. I might see if the boys want to watch a film with me in the evening. We started watching, um, if any of you 90 kids, 90s kids, uh, we started watching Sister Sister, that used to be on Nickelodeon. It's on Netflix at the moment. And we popped an episode on yesterday morning and we watched about 10 minutes, me and my husband. And we just looked at each other and he said, well, we need to watch this in bed at night time. Because we were both laughing our heads off. And he remembered the start of it. Because we were both very, very similar in age. So we watched it at the same time. It was that that was saved by the bell. Uh, Keenan and Kel. I don't think they're on there. Uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Rugrats. And what was that other one with the monsters? Like the monsters, the Bukatu monsters. And there was a little pink one in it and then a little monster and it held its it held its eyeballs. It'll come to me eventually. So let's move on to the next colour. Let's go with this really bright one, which I'm gonna have to sharpen. Iris blue, that is a really, really bright one. That's another reason that I wanted to get that other power socket. Because whenever I'm using the sharpener, it's making the lamp go a bit funny. So I'm thinking it's not got the right voltage in it, the adapter that I'm using. So I'm hoping that this new one does a better job. I'm hoping that this is not too bright, bright. I've got a funny feeling it is going to be. It's scary how quick this year has gone. I was looking through pictures, like deleting stuff off my phone to make room. And it doesn't feel that long ago that I came back from Florida. I was even in Florida. Where has this year gone at all? And we went ahead and I've got Isabel's birthday present. We've just give it her early. Her birthday is only the 23rd of December, but she doesn't really understand. And she needed a new TV. The one that she had was a Big Brother's hand-me-down. And that was about seven years old. And the DVD player was uh, broken it. Yeah, the DVD player had broke. So we went ahead and got a, what they call the smart TV. Like it's got Netflix and YouTube and uh, Prime and stuff. So yeah, I've paid for some like seasons of the cartoons and shows that she likes. So she's got a nice big TV now at the end of the bed. So if we lift the bed up and then tilt her, then she can see the TV. I think I'm gonna do these ones the same colour. See these? I'm gonna have to sharpen this a bit more though. Oh, that's better. Yeah, so we just give it her early because she needed it and she doesn't really understand that it's for her birthday anyway. So we'll just get her a few bits. 
is going to be uh, interesting as she gets older buying her birthday and Christmas presents being close to each other you had to just come before Christmas didn't you Isabel <laughs> I'm wondering if this is going to be too bright so when is everybody else putting the Christmas deckies up I like putting them up but I think I don't want to sound like the Grinch now but I think I enjoy pulling them all back down again and putting them back in the boxes because do you not get that feeling of on my front room or wherever it is that you decorate it looks empty now it looks burnt it looks dead clean where when you have all your, all your decorations up there's just stuff everywhere I don't know that just might be me it just looks a bit cluttered with the Christmas tree and all the uh, bits and bobs and lights around the house but my, by no means I'm not like by humbug that sort of thing uh, is there any other ones I can do yeah I'm going to do this one here that looks like a plait I'm just going in with sea blue now and I've just remembered I've just been talking about my birthday and stuff and I haven't shared this yet but Kirsty bought me these for my birthday I did share a picture and they, uh, what are they called? tarot cards and the cards are like meant to read your future that sort of thing it does come with a book and it explains how to use it. I purely did, I didn't want it for that reason. I mean, it was really interesting reading it. But I wanted it because of the artwork on the cards. I mean, they're gorgeous. So you've got that on the back of each of them. I'll try my best to get it out of the glow. So we've got a mermaid. I mean, they're just stunning. Stunning. I've got the reference books, but a lot of these are not in the reference books. Oh, gorgeous. Upside down. I love how she manages to do like the glassy eyed look. A lot of these are upside down, so I'm better off turning it. So you've got a little crocodile. We're better off showing it like that. Yeah, like that, that's better. Got another mermaid. This one's got wings. And when and if I do get my own art room. I will be putting these up everywhere. Look at that one. Look at the detail in the tail. It's just gorgeous. That one's a bit spooky. That one is definitely in one of the boots, I recognise it. If you like Jasmine Beckett Griffiths, you'll love anything. You know, I've got a calendar now, I've got a mug, I've got these cards. Uh, the the art books that's more of a cartoony one little cherubs that's what's on the front of the box the blue whale so that will be fabulous as a reference I remember doing this picture and being so confused what these were because they're just outlines but obviously I can see here like stingrays and baby sharks there's some crayfish, octopus, the manta rays, beautiful. She's got a bolt in her. So I'll quickly go through the rest just in case you're not interested. I love that one. Autumn in one. Black and white. Just really, really stunning pieces of artwork. And I so appreciate it. I've done that picture. I remember working so hard on the waves. Yes, thank you very much, Kirsty, again for sending me that. She did my trip. She sent it. At, she sent it at the start of the month, and I did the same with her because I didn't want to forget. I know what I'm like. So thank you very, very much. And that is just stopping at the side of me on my little boot shelf. I keep it on the top on short because it's too pretty to put away. 
So we've got sea blue now. My gosh, the camera listened to me for the first time. I think I might go back and put some more purples in though. There's too much blue going on here. I think so. Some more purple and pinks. They do look a lot different though once you've added the water. I can't really think of anything else that's happened. Uh, Donna, if you're watching this, I'm still thinking about my dad. My dad's not been um, too good recently. He has hurt a nerve in his in his neck and his back, so I'm gonna have to bring that up here as well. But he's finally uh, he ended up going to the doctors twice, going into a walking centre, and then he finally went to A and E, and they've treated him and found out, found out what was wrong with him. I think with him being a butcher is uh, all this heavy lifting of the meat is just it's just got to him so I've been dead worried about him actually I think he's probably getting annoyed with him I might have tested him <laughs> alright let's go in with thistle it's weird seeing your parents ill especially when they're never ever ever ill very weird. I'm gonna go in with this colour somewhere else as well. I do like this one. I feel naked without my nails on, but I think I'm just gonna have to grin and bear it for a while and try my best to file them off. And I've got some nail hardener that I can start using. And then when, when they get smooth again, I might be able to paint them. But at the moment, you'll just have to deal with my ugly nails. <laughs> and this one as well. And you know what? I've not tried before an ink tense picture and then done just doing distress ink. Because if you know that I use the water effect, so I'm a bit. Was it a good idea using ink tense? Once I add the water again, it shouldn't move round, so we'll see. But regarding them pencils for my birthday, I think I'm going to do a swatching video. I'm going to be swatching them out anyway. So I think if I do it on camera, it might help other people decide whether, you know, they're worth it for you to buy as well. But I'm being generally honest that if I don't like them, they're getting sent back for that amount of money. And with it being gifted money, I want it to be something that I, I love. So yeah. Let's go in somewhere else. Where else can I add it? At the bottom here. These ones. I think I'm going to go and make myself a nice cup of tea in a minute. I made myself one this morning but we were running a bit late so we ended up like, like having half of it. So I get up at half past seven in the morning and I think right I'm going to be downstairs for quarter to eight. Sort of porridge out and have a cup of tea and then get sorted. But then this morning I spent 20 minutes in Isabel's room playing with her. While she was coming round, I didn't realise what time it was. My son just sorts himself out in the morning. His sandwiches in the fridge, ready for him. And I batch cook him every now and again. He likes the the sausage and egg muffin meals from McDonald's. Well, obviously, I can't go there and get him one in the morning. I don't drive and I wouldn't do that anywhere. Um, let's add it as well, these little dots. And you can get it from our local supermarket. They like these sausage circle patties. And he says that they taste exactly the same. So I do him then with an egg with a circle mould and a muffin with cheese and ketchup. And he says it's exactly the same. So I batch cook him then, and all he needs to do is pop them in the microwave before he goes to school and eats them on the way. 
Uh, so we use the dusky, let's use the violet. And then a big section here. So yeah, he was pleased this morning that he had that. He's just, just, um, what day was it? I think it was Thursday or Friday. It was Friday, it was Friday. He's playing the new Call of Duty at the minute. I'm umming and ahhing whether I want it or not. I need to sit there with him and watch him play it for a few nights and decide. I used to be a right geek when it came to Call of Duty. I would get the brand new one every single year. I even went, I was even that obsessed that it'd get released at 12 o'clock at night. And we would queue up in the cold at the end of November to get the game. To then drive back home and spend a couple of hours. How silly is that? That's that when I was 21, 22, 23. So. I just need to have a little go of it and decide whether I want to play it or not because they're not cheap now them games, they're like £65-£70 I don't know what I'm like as well if I start playing a game like that and I love it, that's all I want to do uh, Right, I think I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and then I'll be back So it was a little bit longer than actually just making a brew because I was walking past my fish tank and I've been noticing a couple of the, the fish, I've changed the colour now. Uh, Violet, we used the. A couple of the fish look, looked like they were being picked on. And I was thinking it was my barbs that they were doing it to each other. And I've just caught the one loach that I've got in there practically eating one of the barbs alive. So I just managed to catch it. It took me 15 minutes to catch it on my arms soaking. And I've put it in. I had a, a breeding box for when I had guppies. And I've put it in there for now until I figure out what, what to do with it. I mean, I would have just took it back to the fish shop. But I don't know if they'll allow that at the moment with us being on lockdown. It's been a vicious little bugger. It's literally like that, the barb. I won't be able to show you. But it's like a circle with loads of fins going round it. And like a beautiful orange colour. And practically all of the fins have been eaten. So, I don't think that's going to survive for much longer. I can't even turn down my filter, it might even get sucked in. Oh, I'm going to have to keep a close eye on that today. I asked the person, oh, I've had that loach for a couple of months now. I said, is it alright with Tetris? Is it alright with this? Is it alright with that? Yeah, yeah. And they've sold it, man. It's turned out to be a, a murderer. <laughs> In all intents and purposes. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I was thinking them babs are vicious, but they didn't want me that at the fish shop. And it turns out it wasn't that. I may, when all these fishes have gone, whenever that long it takes, get myself some guppies again. They were easy to look after, and they were so fun to breed. I love seeing the babies. They were so cute. I need to do the filter as well on the next day or so. So I've been filming today and editing today. Tomorrow morning I'll be able to do it. I've got an hour or so, three in the morning. Because you literally have to take litres of water out to do the water change and then I struggle doing the filter because of the suction things. But I can do it, it's just hard. I prefer to do it when, when somebody's here to help me. Because it is a big tank. Right, well I like how this is coming on. But I do want some more pinks. I'm going to go in with Carmine Pink. And I'm wondering whether I should do a gold border, maybe with gel pens once we finish the distress ink. I think that's what we'll do because we can leave that burnt and decide later. So let's do these little leaves at the bottom. I think I'm going to do quite a lot in this colour. This is a nice colour, this one. My washing machine's playing me a tune, letting me know that it's finished. Yeah, 
you know, I was getting irritated with myself then I was going backwards and forwards it was hiding between the plants. I've got real plants in there so I'm knocking them and then they're snapping. Some not nice words shaded then but I think I tired the fish out because it sort of just went to the top and let me catch it, luckily. And now it's banging against the side of the glass because it's because of the filter. Great. <laughs> if it's not the dog's barking, it's the fish playing me up. I'd love to get a cat, a kitten. But my husband's allergic to cats, unfortunately. Which is weird because he can play with the dogs, but as long as he doesn't touch his face, like he washes his hands, he's all right. But yeah, his uh, his dad's got. He used to have two cats. Only got one cat now, and he has to take an antihistamine tablet before even visiting. Because he'll start the coughing and the sneezing, and his eyes will go red and water. But then I'm just sat there, and I'll stroke the cat and then forget. I think I'll do these top leaves here as well. I'm going to sharpen this. Do you see what I mean about the lights as soon as I put it in? So I think that the, the adapter that I'm using isn't powerful enough. So let's hope that block when it arrives on Wednesday fixes that problem. I'm going to have to figure something out about that box because I can't have it banging like that. So yeah, nothing really else this week going on. I have to bring some uh, primary schools just to get a bit of information off them. Apart from that, really nothing else. Same old. Nursery run in the morning. Nice work and then maybe filming. and chatting to you guys. I really really want to get back to streaming but I can't um, let's say if I'm streaming at this time and I get a phone call let's say from, from nursery or regarding a, a, a cur I don't want to be muting the video and then at night times I'll be totally honest I just want to sit here in either silence or with my music on and I don't want to talk to anybody I just want to do what I'm doing so. So we'll see. We shall see. I could possibly maybe do diamond painting and stream that because you know I don't really have to concentrate on that very much. Oh, one thing that I did get. Where is it? I was recommended to get this to apply the gel medium. Now I have used it and it works a treat. It does work really well on that, you don't get the brush strokes, it's just a smooth layer with this. But I actually used this as well when I'd finished the diamond painting off last night to roll over it to, you know, just make sure that all the drills were down properly and it's worked fantastically. And I think that was about £6, you know, and it's done the trick. So where was I up to then? Yeah, it's done the trick really well. Let's do this stem. I want to really try and get this video on this page done in one video. It might be a long one. I don't think you guys mind. If I didn't spend 15 minutes trying to catch a fish this morning, I might have got a little bit more done. <laughs> and let's do these leaves as well. I really have to be in the mood for Joanna Basford's boots, I really, really do. It's a lot of foliage. Yeah, I think we'll leave the border or the keyhole empty and go over with the go to gel pen maybe. 
having to use two artificial lights today because it's just it's just grim that weather out there. It's just dull and horrible and spitting. More now. I don't really want to be going in with another colour. I want to try my best just to use this one colour. I think the butterfly as well, I'll do the same thing and use gel pens on that to make it stand out a little bit. The colours may look a bit blah at the moment. But it's once we add that water. Right, so these last few stems, I'm going to go in with a blue colour lagoon. Just so there's not too much pink. I'll do the middle of these flowers as well at the bottom. Then we've got some teeny tiny ones here. I'll just do it in the same colour. So let me just put the ink tents away. Oh, we've missed two there. And then we'll get to activating these colours. So I've got two different water brushes here, aqua brushes. I've got the Zig one, which is more of a medium one. And then we've got an Arteza one, which this one is practically brand new. I've only used it once or twice. That's a quite a fine one that I thought would be good for the finer details. So let's just get cracking with this. I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, and I'm going to work from the top down just so I don't put my hand in it. I hope you can tell the difference there on camera how much it does pack a punch these pencils I'm not too worried about going out the lines because of the distress ink it's going to cover up any mistakes anywhere try and be careful but you know it's not the end of the world What did everyone get up to this weekend? Again, us. Absolutely nothing really. Shopping on Saturday morning, just a normal food shop. And then we was in for the day. And then I did want to go out on a nature walk like to the woods yesterday. But number one, the weather was awful. And it was cold. I didn't want to risk taking Isabel out and getting a pool. She needed to be in nursery today. Um, so yeah, we just ended up stopping in. For the whole day, my husband pops out in the evening. But that was about it. There's just not really a lot to do at the moment. It's either going for the walks or going shopping. You can't go and visit family members. Which, let's see what they do about Christmas. There's only going to be six of us anyway. I think I've spoken about this in uh, another video. Like my family, my mother-in-law, my brother-in-law. I will have to let these completely dry as well before I go over the top with the distressing. I might do that so all the water part is done and then if I feel like I need a bit of pencil shading then we can do that once it's all dry. I can't remember
remember what this book is like with the heat gun. I'm not even sure if I've used the heat gun with this on. Not before. I suppose you have to have a little bit of patience for this part. But we're getting there slowly but surely. See how bright it is now compared to when it's dry. I think I say it in all my videos but you know when I'm concentrating because I go quiet. <laughs> so what is on everybody's Christmas list as well? I've not really got much apart from a few diamond paintings that I would like. Maybe do some home little bits. But apart from that, not really. We haven't really started shopping for the kids apart from that TV for her birthday, but that's not Christmas. It's different. Right, let's do the purple one at the top. I don't know whether to. Let's try the bigger one and see how this goes. That might be a bit better for the bigger ones. I think what I'll do is I'll speed through the rest of this just while we're activating it, let it all dry and then come back when uh, when we start the distressing.
Right, so we're all complete with the base of the Distress Ink. Now, I think I am going to go over the top with a little bit of pencil, but we'll get the Distress Ink part done first. Bring you right out, just so you can see all of it. This is the tape that I use. Um, I can't remember how much it was. Again, it was off Amazon. If I remember, I will link it down below. And I just use this just to protect the next page. I'm just going to put a couple of layers. You'll see why in a minute. This is the best tape that I've found as well that does not rip your paper. I was using masking tape for the longest time and you have to be so careful peeling that off. So that's just two layers of it there. These are the colours that I've chosen. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use all of them. I've got a light pink, a medium pink, light purple, medium purple, dark purple. Like I said, I don't know whether I'm going to use all of them. I could probably go in with a darker blue as well. The only thing that I didn't get, I just used these plastic sheets, again off Amazon, to protect the pages behind. Put two like that and it's fully protected. Now I don't use the the blenders that you can get along with the distress inks. I don't like them, I don't think they work very good. So I'm gonna use my little makeup uh, applicators. Now I did already have some of these for obviously applying makeup and the ones that I weren't using, that's how I figured out that they were very, very good for distress ink. But if I remember correctly, this really light pink, the Victorian Velvet, isn't very pigmented. So let's just see. So the way that I do it, just hold it with my left hand. And then if I put it sideways, it's easier. And I push down and then flick up. That's the way that I've found. It gets the most ink onto the brush. But that's one side. And then start in the corner circle motions and pull it down so it is a very very light pinkness so I'm not going to use a lot of this and you will have to reapply and we'll go in this bottom corner here so this is why I've put the protection tape there so I don't go onto the other side now one thing that is good about this book is it opens completely flat now, if you're using a boot that sort of wants to flap closed again, you might find this a little bit difficult. I'm not going to use a whole lot more of that because I don't think it's as vibrant as I want it. So we're going with the darker pink, which is picked of raspberry. Now, if I remember correctly, this is a really, really bright, bright pink. So we'll uh, be a bit, a bit more careful. Yeah quite hard pressure I'm using, pushing down, pulling the colour upwards, I mean you don't have to start at the corners, if I do it right in the middle, here maybe, and then bring it out, once this is dry, even when you put the water on, you can go over the top with anything, so it doesn't matter that I've gone over the border, it's fine. So we will keep that one open, but I'm going to go in with the shaded lilac. And while we're using a different com colour completely, I'm going to use a different brush. But a slightly smaller one. And same again. This does lay down the colour a lot quicker, but only in one little area. It won't blend it out nearly as much as quick as the bigger brush will. You just see there. And there's no rhyme or reason with this, it's just very random. So that was shaded lilac and then we've got wilted violet, which I know this one is a lot darker. So let's start off in this corner. I think what I'm going to do is switch to a slightly larger brush. So another one. 
just to get the colour down a bit quicker. And I get it all over my fingers and all over my desk. <laughs> It's just working with it with layers. It's your art piece, you know, there's no real pattern to it. I see a lot of people using distress inks and they don't put enough pigment down before actually going in and wetting the page. So this is seedless preserve. Yeah, so just make sure that you're putting plenty of pigment down. But I am gonna go back to that pink, which was the picked raspberry. And let's start some layering. I think I'm gonna go over that lighter pink. I don't like the look of that. It doesn't go with the colors that I was after. The pink again. I'm gonna go over this area. Yeah, just plenty of layers. Like I said, I am using quite uh, hard pressure. I'll leave that pink to one side in case I want to come back to it. But let's go into this dark purple, which this one is the Seedless Preserve. This is definitely a uh, mixture of the purple and the pink. Just want to make sure we cover up any white areas that are poking through. I think I am going to see. I'm going to put the last one down. But I think I want a darker blue. The dusky Concord, this one. It is darker, but it's not a dark blue. I think I've got one that's called Jeans Blue. Something like that. Let me just check. So the way I keep these stored is upside down in a little acrylic tray so all I need to do is lift it up and I can see the colours and it just makes it easier on myself so this one's called blue blueprint sketch have I got a darker one might be in the other tray but I think this will be okay let's try in this colour yeah that's the sort of blue I was after I don't think he tells you to store them upside down. I'm pretty sure he doesn't anyway. Tim, uh, who is it now? Ranger. Is it Tim Holtz? I think it's Tim Holtz. I'll have to put the rest in the other tray. I'm going to go in with the darkest purple again. Add a little bit more of that. Right, so I'm going to let that dry for a minute or so and then all I'm going to do is go over the top with a spray bottle. So this spray bottle, I've literally got it from the paint shop. It's nothing special, I think it's just a hairdressing spray bottle. So the way that I do it, better off showing you like this. I mean you can tap on this and a little bit will come out, just a little splodge. You know, you can press it all the way down and a lot of water does come out. And that's not the way that I do it. 
So let me get you all in the middle. And I'm just tapping it. I'm just going to tap. Hold it quite far back. And again, this is just going to be a layering process. If I'm happy with this the first time round, I'll leave it as. If it needs a little bit more, I'll come back. So you can see that little bit at the top that's puddling and going into the spine. We want to get rid of that first. Because I've made the mistake before of leaving that and then it's um, run through and dyed a few of the pages. So I'm just using a cloth. It's my little uh, cloth that is staying with all sorts of different mediums. I'm pressing down. I'm not rubbing at all. Just press down firmly onto the picture and lift straight off like that and just going over just making sure that we're picking up all the excess water just like this and I don't think that I'll need another pass maybe a couple of areas around this portion maybe I have got a smaller spray bottle that is more of a fine mist and it does work with certain techniques it just depends what sort of loot that you're going for so there's a little bit there that I've missed so I'm going to add a little bit more here and a little bit more here let's leave that for a second that's more or less the water finish with just get a clean part of your cloth and then go ahead and lift the colour up. I feel like I'm getting a blocked nose again already. So that is how I do the Distress Ink backgrounds. Now I was hoping to finish this off in one video but I think I'm going to have to do a part two with all the shading and the glitter and all the embellishments because otherwise you're going to be here for over an hour I would have thought. But I'm just going to leave this to dry naturally. The reason being is I can't remember what this boot behaves like with the heat gun but once it's dry I will peel these off and this should be, should be a clean edge but we'll see. But I think once we've added a bit of glitter and shading and maybe even some metallic paints, you know, with the the droplet effect, that might look quite cool. But I'm just checking for bleed through. There's no bleed through, but you can tell where I've used the distress ink and it's gone on the other page behind. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. So if you do like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And there will be a part two coming up in the next couple of days for this one. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.